Hello everyone, it's Raquel at Central Senegal here, um, bringing to you another Rosh Hashanah story. Uh, we're coming up to Rosh Hashanah now, this weekend. Um, so today we're going to look at Tashlich, and the book we're going to read is another PJ Library book, and it's called Tashlich at Turtle Rock. We always start at Old Log, Annie, Lincoln says, giving me the look. I give him one right back. This year I'm in charge, I announce, and this year we're starting at Turtle Rock. It's the afternoon of Rosh Hashanah, and we're on our way to do Tashlich. That's when you go to a place with flowing water, a lake, a river, or creek, and you throw in pieces of bread that represent mistakes that you've made in the last year. My friend Franny, who lives in New York, does it in the fountain at Lincoln Center, and my brother's friend Matt says he once did it in a toilet. Hmm. My family has its own tradition. Is everything we need in the backpacks, Mum asks. Apple? Yup. Honey? Yup. Bread? Yup. I've got the pocket knife, Mum says. Follow me, I say, leading them into the woods behind our house. This time of year, the trail is lined with trees changing colour. I've planned four stops along the way. Turtle Rock, Billy Goat's Bridge, Gypsy Landing, and finally, Old Log. Okay, everyone, I announce. While you're walking, think of one really good thing you want to remember from last year. We hike quietly while everyone thinks. When we get to Turtle Rock, I find four stones that we can, that can write and give one to each person. Okay, what good thing did you remember? Link goes first. He writes B-U-S on Turtle Rock. I learned how to ride the bus by myself, he says. And it's really cool. I can go anywhere. Then Dad gets up. He scratches the letters Korostyshev on the rock. This year, Grandpa and I went to Ukraine. We visited the little village where he grew up. It's a trip that I'll always remember. Mum goes next. She uses her stone to draw a picture of a lady with long hair. I made a new friend this year, she says. She means Paula who is also a writer. We help each other write and read each other's work and talk about books. I'm so grateful for Paula. When it's my turn, I can't decide between my bike and knitting. Finally, I draw a picture of my bike. This year, I learned to ride a two-wheeler, I say. Hooray! Then we stand up and look at what we've written. Together, we shout, Amen! Dad scoops up some water from the gurgling creek and splashes it over Turtle Rock to erase our writing. Take only pictures, leave only footprints, he reminds us. Our next stop is Billy Goat's Bridge, I announce. When we get there, find something that represents what you want to throw away from last year. Start thinking. On the way to Billy Goat's Bridge, we search the woods for something to throw away. By the time we get there, we each have something in our hands. We sit down and start explaining. Dad holds up an acorn cap that looks like a tiny mouth. I want to throw away saying bad things about people, he says. You once said Mr. Frischberg looks like a frog, I remind him. Exactly, Dad admits as he throws the acorn cap over the bridge. Lincoln goes next. I want to throw away being mad at Steven Pinker. He broke my calculator, but it was really an accident. Steven has red hair, so Lincoln throws a handful of red maple leaves into the water. Then it's Mum's turn. I want to get rid of the habit of saying yes when I really mean no. That's very hard for me. I'll agree to go to lunch with Abigail when I really need to work. She throws a Y-shaped twig into the falls and waves goodbye to yes. When it's my turn, I say, I had a hard time making friends at camp last summer. I want to throw away being so shy. The rock I toss into the creek looks like a bunkhouse. Well, to me anyway. There is one more thing to do before we leave Billy Goat's Bridge. I take out the bread and give everyone a chunk. 
Quietly, we break off little pieces and throw them into the water. These stand for private things that we feel sorry about or want to get rid of in the new year. Then we stand up and look down at the waterfall. Together we shout, Amen! On to Gypsy Landing, I announce. That's a big slab of rock on the other side of Billy Goat's Bridge. When we get there, I tell everybody to think about one thing they promised to do in the coming year. While everyone's thinking, I gather some twigs and spell out the four numbers of the, non, uh, of the new Jewish year and the highest part of the rock. Now, take off your shoes and socks, I tell them. When you make your promise, dip one foot in the stream and make a footprint on the new year rock. I vow to put all our family photos into albums, Mum says, dipping her foot in the cold stream. I promise to keep visiting Archie Measle in the nursing home, Lincoln says, even though my bar mitzvah project is officially over. His family lives in Mexico, so he never gets visitors. I vow to start making challah every Thursday night, Dad announces. He hops across Gypsy Landing on one foot and makes a footprint facing the new year. When it's my turn, I put both feet into the water to make two wet prints. I'm going to wake up early so I can get to school on time. Then we all stand up and look at our footprints. Together we shout, Amen! Last stop is Old Log, I say. Follow me! When we get there, Link empties his backpack. We all straddle fat old log. Dad takes the pocket knife and cuts apple slices for everyone. I open the jar of honey and we pass it around. Eating apples dipped in honey symbolises the sweetness of the Jewish New Year. We recite a special Tashlich prayer that Mum wrote. God, we have thrown out our mistakes and regrets and we have picked the best things from the year to keep with us. Help us start over. Help us remember our vows and promises and protect us this whole long year. Then we stand up and look at each other and together we say, Amen. And that's the end of the Tashlich story. Shana Tovah.